Tuberculosis, or TB, is an infectious disease caused by the Mycobacterium tuberculosis. This character represents active TB bacteria. TB is a treatable disease if you follow your doctor's treatment plan. If TB is not treated properly, TB bacteria can become resistant to one or multiple drugs used in treatment. When the bacteria become resistant to multiple drugs, it is known as multidrug resistant tuberculosis, or MDRTB. This character represents MDRTB bacteria. If MDRTB is not treated properly, this can lead to an even more drug resistant TB, called extensively drug resistant TB, or XDRTB. This character represents XDRTB bacteria. TB bacteria are very small and can only be seen with a microscope. In this animation, we show them much larger than they really are, so you can easily see them. Most cases of TB can be treated with a standard six-month course of four first-line, high-quality antibiotics in conjunction with information, supervision, and support from a health worker or trained volunteer. During this treatment period, it is important you strictly follow your treatment plan in order to cure the disease and prevent it from spreading. People receiving appropriate treatment for TB should tell their healthcare provider if they are having trouble getting or taking the drugs. The most effective and widely used drugs for TB are isoniazid and rifampicin, taken together with ethambutol and pyrazinamide. These drugs can have negative side effects when taken. These side effects can be managed with help and advice from your healthcare provider. And while a majority of TB cases can be cured when these first-line antibiotics are taken properly according to a doctor's instructions, sometimes TB bacteria are resistant to treatment. This type of resistance is called multidrug resistant tuberculosis, or MDR-TB. Drug-resistant TB occurs when the TB bacterium is or was already not affected by the antibiotics normally used to treat it. This can also happen when people with TB do not take all of their prescribed treatment drugs as instructed, when they only partially complete a course of treatment, or sometimes skip taking their medicine. Sometimes, people are infected with resistant bacteria from the start. If a person has MDR-TB, they can pass it on to other people. Even when someone has had successful treatment for TB, they can become infected and develop MDR-TB. MDR-TB also happens when a poor treatment plan design was recommended or when low-quality treatment drugs were provided. While it is important to be aware of these rare circumstances and to seek medical assistance at well-stocked, competently staffed health centers, it is much more crucial that you strictly follow your doctor's prescribed course of treatment to avoid drug-resistant TB from occurring. If possible, your doctor should run tests to identify drug resistance once you've been diagnosed with TB to identify MDR-TB early. Treatment plans for MDR-TB involve another group of antibiotics called second-line antibiotics. These drugs vary in duration and can also have negative side effects, but they are necessary to cure MDR-TB. However, as with the first-line drugs, if not properly and completely taken according to the treatment plan, this can lead to an even more drug-resistant TB called extensively drug-resistant TB, or XDR-TB. Few options exist to treat XDR-TB with second-line drugs, although new treatments recently discovered and recommended by the World Health Organization show promise. Efforts are made to make these MDR-TB and XDR-TB drugs globally available, and care providers should ensure their patient can access them. Healthcare providers can be key 
to preventing drug-resistant TB by quickly diagnosing people with TB. Helping you follow your treatment plan. Monitoring your response to treatment. And making sure that you complete treatment. For health workers especially, an important way to prevent getting drug-resistant TB is to reduce exposure to known drug-resistant TB patients in closed or crowded places. People who work in hospitals or healthcare settings where TB patients are likely to be seen should consult experts in TB infection control. For most people, the way to avoid drug-resistant TB is to strictly and completely follow your doctor's treatment plan. If you are not able to follow your doctor's treatment plan for any reason, your doctor should work with you to find a treatment plan that is sensitive to your needs. Work closely with your doctor or healthcare provider to develop a plan and then stick to it. Always take your medicines on the schedule as directed. Together with your healthcare provider, you can beat TB.